God, we worship you, our God, you're worthy to be praised, you're Alpha and Omega. Come on, help me. We give you all the glory. We worship you, our God. You're worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory. We worship you. Our God, we worship you. Holy Father, we worship you. Lord Jesus, you're worthy to be praised. We give you all the glory. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. Our God. We worship you, Holy Father. We worship you, Lord Jesus. You're worthy to be praised. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We greet you this evening in the name of our Lord Jesus the Christ who causes us to triumph in every situation. He is our God, and through him, we do valiantly. This is the day the Lord has made. I do rejoice and I'm glad in it. I hope you do as well. Hallelujah. Welcome you tonight to a special edition of our prayer and praise healing night. Amen. What is that? That's when we fight the devil and are taught on again on how to fight the devil. And we pray together fighting the devil, believing for healing, protection, prosperity. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it's my pleasure tonight to present to you Pastor of the church, Amen. Pastor R.I. Samson Jr. Amen. 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 I greet you tonight in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is our God, and through him we do value. This is the day that the Lord has made. I do rejoice, and I am glad in it on tonight. Thank you so much on tonight, Dad. I appreciate you. Thank you, Amen, for leading us into the presence of God. Amen. Our God is worthy. As Pastor has stated, this is prayer, praise, and healing night. We come together, we pray together, we praise the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ together, and we expect God to heal us on tonight. I encourage you and ask if you would please to share tonight's Facebook Live to your news feed. Thank you to our members who are here on the parking lot. Always, always greatly encouraged and glad to see you. Amen. To our members, family, and supporters, and friends, e-members, and e-partners who join us via social media, Facebook, we thank God for you and your presence and you taking time out of your schedule to be here with us on Wednesdays and on Sundays. And many of you, you share uh, the Facebook Live and you also comment on it as well. Then also some of you are going to YouTube to, re to view uh, the messages as well, the worships as well. So we thank God for you and your support. Amen. Amen. There is a word from the Lord on tonight that will help you right where you live. Well, Pastor, how can you say stuff like that? Because it ain't coming from me. Oh, amen. amen. If it was depending on R.R. Sampson Jr.'s power or know-how or something like that, well, that'd be a little different. But I know yeah, yeah. what the Lord, Spirit of the Lord spoke to me when he began talking to me um, last month amen. about this. Amen. amen. What I like about God is that he always lets us know ahead of time what's going on and how he desires to um, pastor, pastor, how he desires to help us in all the things that his people are going through. And it's real simple, amen, if you want to know as a leader what your people are going through, they're going through the same thing that you're going through, amen. So we thank God for his talking with us 
and communicating to us. Amen. If we don't take it lightly that we can come together, fight the devil, unify together to fight the devil, and believe God for victory in our own personal lives and in our collective lives and as a body. As a believer, God's best is available for you. But it's not going to automatically fall in your lap either. Let me say that. So you have to bear yourself and give yourself to fighting the enemy. Like Pastor and I encourage you every day to do every day. That's why we tell you come back and listen to the prayers. Pray the prayers that we're praying so that you can get used to praying them. Fight the devil for yourself on a consistent basis. And you'll see more and more victory coming into your life. Because you've been made more than a conqueror. That is your place. That is your position. And that is your right as a child of God. Amen. So you're a pro. What does that mean? More than a conqueror. It basically means you're a champion. You are a winner. You are a king. Or you are a queen. You are a conqueror. That means that you go for it. And you're able to do mighty works with God's help. So we thank God for his help. Because he goes with us. And he goes before us, excuse me, to fight for us, and nothing can stop us now. So we will continue to fight the good fight of faith. We will continue to use our faith to fight the enemy. We use the word of God to fight the enemy because he is a defeated foe, and he is under your feet. What does that mean? He's under your feet. He is under your feet, which means you are the one. You are in control. Amen. So when things come at you crazy. You can go to the word of God. When yes, things come at you sideways, you can go to the word of God. So we thank God for his being with us yes, and among us. Don't want to rush on tonight. Don't want to prolong the hour either because we're going to be here to do what God has given us to Amen. do for tonight. Amen. Amen. And receive everything that God is destined for us thank to receive. Lord. As you turn in your Bibles to the book Numbers 13. And we'll begin with the 25th verse, Numbers chapter 13, verses 25 through 32. Now we we'll do the order of prayer, praise, and healing night a little different. Normally we start with prayer, then we transition to praise and worship, then we transition to the word of God. Amen. We begin prayer, praise, and healing night with praise and worship, then we transition to the exhortation or the preaching teaching. Of whatever the lesson is for that night that goes with the prayers and then we pray so you kind of understand and know uh, what's going on for tonight numbers 13 25 through 32 and it reads reading to you from the king james version of the bible encourage you to get a version that you understand open your bible out if you have a paper bible or a leather bible open your bible so you can see this for yourself it's a numbers 13 verses 25 through 32 numbers 13 the 13th Amen. chapter verses 25 through 32 and it reads and they returned from searching of the land after 40 days and then when it came to moses and to aaron and to all the congregation of the children of israel unto the wilderness of paran to kadesh and brought back word unto them and unto all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land and they told him and said, We came into the land where you sent us, and surely, or for real, or sure, it flows with milk and honey, and this is the fruit of it. Nevertheless, mm -hmm. the people be strong that dwell and live in the land, and the cities are walled and very great, which means they're very protected. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there. Now, they see their children of Anak talking about descendants of giants. There, the Amalekites dwell in the south, and the Hittites, and the Jebusites, and the Amorites dwell in the mountains, and the Canaanites dwell by the sea and by the coast of Jordan. Every group of people that you see listed here was a group of black people, dark skinned people. All right, because all of this that's happening, this is happening in Africa. Mm. Say it again. All of this was happening in Africa. The land that God promised Abraham was in Northeast Africa. All right. 
All right, so let's read on. They say, And Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. In other words, we can do it. Right. We can defeat the foe. But the men that stood up with him said, We be not able to go up against the people. In other words, we can't do it. But they are stronger than we are. They're stronger than us. And they brought up an evil report of the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it is a land that eats up the inhabitants thereof. All right. And all the people that we saw in it are men of a great stature. And we saw there the giants, mm. the sons of Anak, which come of our descendants of the giants. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers. And so we were in their sight. So tonight, the emphasis tonight is dealing with insecurities. All right. Dealing with insecurities. We see here in that 33rd verse, it says, And there we saw the giants, the son of Annas would come on the giants, and we were in our own fight as grasshoppers. And so we were in their sight. So insecurity or insecurities are not from God right. and they are not God's best for you. Amen. God does not want you to be unsure of yourself. Amen. He does not want you to be timid. The Bible said that the righteous are as bold as a lion. Mm. What does that mean? That you're not afraid. Amen. God does not want you to live an intimidated life. You have the greater one that lives on the inside of you. Now, insecurity is rooted in fear. The word of God makes it clear that God has not, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power and a love and of a sound mind. Yes, sir. So if insecurity is rooted in fear, and fear does not come from, nor is it of God, who does it come from? All right, All right. Now, it does not mean to say or to negate or say that your insecurities are unwarranted. Mm -hmm. But the Spirit of God spoke something to me on tonight, Pastor, entering the building, uh -huh. that God will not bring you to a place that he cannot keep you. All right. And this is what he spoke to me. Right. He said, if you get promoted uh. or if you receive something that you are not ready for or feel like you're ready for, <laughs> he said, I will use favor yes, sir. to float you until knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is yours so you can swim on your own. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Say it again. God said he will use favor, favor. to float you yeah. until yeah. you get the knowledge, the wisdom, and understanding to swim on your own. Because, you know, we can get promoted, and, and I've been there, when you, you get this promotion and you don't have all the know-how that you feel like you need. And you feel like you, you, you're inadequate, and you feel weak, and your insecurities seek to step in. But that's not of God. Again, for God has not given us the spirit of fear. So let me say it like this. God has not given you the spirit of being insecure. Because you can always know that God has your back. Amen. Yes, sir. And if he has to, he will also use people to back you up. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Thank so you, you cannot present or under find yourself in a situation where God will not help you to overcome or for you to win. Thank yeah. you. So God does not desire for you to be insecure. Amen. Your insecurities can and will hold you back. I can't tell you how many opportunities I passed up because I didn't think I was ready. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, you are. Or, 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 or I didn't think I was worthy or it wasn't my time yet. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're honest with yourself, you had some too. You may not have had as many. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or you didn't shoot your shot yes, when you had your arrows to shoot yeah. your shot. You understand? Oh, you, yes, you, you didn't take advantage of the opportunity, but thanks be unto God that God does not hold that against us. Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. And that he still will bring us what is ours. Yes, sir. 
And you may be insecure for many different reasons. Maybe because of your upbringing. Nobody may have told you that you could be this person or you could have that or you could do better if you may have never seen better. Or every time you tried, you may have even gotten knocked down or had bad results. But the good news tonight is that God will help you. The passage here in that 33rd verse, these mighty soldiers who had won battles, mm. crossed the Red Sea. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. You understand? Yes, sir. And, and they crossed the Red Sea by God's mighty hand. Yes. And God kept them all day and all night, and he preserved their clothes. Yes. Yeah. And the Spirit of God showed me how he was able to preserve their clothes because he kept a cloud over them by day. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> and a fire at night. To control the barometric pressure on the earth so it wouldn't rot your clothes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tell your God is somebody. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. But, but, but that own, as he said, he said, we saw the giants. He said, and we were in our own sight. Yeah. Oh, my God. As grasshoppers. So, so who told you? Who told you? That you were just a grasshopper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Who, who told you that? You are flighty and you just go from here to there and you have no purpose and no intent or design for your life. Who told you that? Yeah. Didn't come from God. Yes. Bible says that we are trees or we'll be like trees planted by the rivers of water and bring forth their fruit in their season. He tells that our faces can be as bold as the lion. And they say the wicked flee when no man pursue. Yeah. But it does not say that you and I have to be insecure. Amen. Oh. And that we cannot walk in victory and that we cannot be victorious and we cannot overcome. Yes, sir. So evidently that is and that exists within us. Yes. <laughs> some fallow ground that the Spirit of God is trying to break up. Yes, sir. But yes, the fallow sir. ground that means some hard saw that God is trying to turn over. Yeah. But there are things that he desires for us to do and to have, possess, and to be. God is always, say God is always, God is always. Working, working on a bigger picture. Glory to God. Lord. Thank you, Lord. 1 Samuel 15 and 17 says, And Samuel said, When you were little in your own sight, was it not you that was made the head of the tribes of Israel? And the Lord anointed you king over Israel. In other words, God does not always wait until we reach the potential to put us where he wants us to be. Because most of the time, he will put us there yeah. and then grow us yes, and develop yes, us sir. to our full potential. Yes. Yes. Like Pastor told us, it's more caught than taught. All right. Say it again, it's more caught yes, sir. than taught. In other words, I can't teach you mm -hmm. everything about leadership, but if you pay close attention, you will catch some of the final points. But the funny thing about being groomed and learned is that nine times out of ten, when you get to where yours is, mm, you on. still gonna have to learn something else anyway. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All of the at his best and at his true point and in his purest point is designed to do is just to get your mindset ready to be able to deal with the bumps and the bruises. And the pain and the adversity of what's up the road. All right. If you got a good mentor, if you have a, if you a good a, one. If you're you talking about just these journey come lady don't know what they're doing, and you. Yeah, let yes, me just sir. move on. Yes, sir. Make, your insecurity will make you say things about yourself that are not true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You don't know what these giants yes, sir. thought about these spies. Because number one, you a spy, you're not even supposed to really be seen. All right. <laughs> but you're going to talk for yourself and for the giants. Mm -hmm. And Caleb believed, Caleb like, man, look, we can defeat them. Well, Caleb had an understanding that we weren't defeating our enemies on our own. All right. All right. All right. He understood yes. that God can, will, and does help us. Yes. Even when we face the giants, that's why when we pray, we say, Lord, help us to take out the giants of our promised land. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
See, we encourage you to read the Bible because it opens your understanding to who God is and how he operates. Yes, sir. The Bible talks about how he used hornets mm. <laughs> to help nations Israel defeat their enemies. All right, all right. And a lot of times, the hornets did more damage then the Israelite army was able to do it. All right, all right. See, all that went right by. What are you saying, Pastor? Yeah. God can show up. Yeah. And you really think you lighting the woods on fire. Yeah. <laughs> and you really ain't did nothing, but God makes the picture look so. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, He's doing all the work, but you get the reputation for it. That's why time by time they get to Jericho, ain't nobody want to leave the city or come in the city. <laughs> Say, we heard how the Lord dried up the Red Sea and y'all killed a big giant king that had a bed as big as a room. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus. Made out of iron. That means that was a great big old heavy black man. That's what that means. Yeah. He said, we, 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 we've heard about y'all. It is a problem. You all present a problem. We don't have an answer for you, but we know not to come out to y'all on our own. All right, all right. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. The Lord helping you mm -hmm. elevates you and your reputation. Yes, sir. Say it again. The Lord helping you, it elevates you and helps you. Yes, so we cannot say how others view us. No, no. How we view ourselves and how they view us may not be one and the same. <laughs> all right, all right. One of the most trivial things about life is when you have a special day or it's your birthday or boss's day or something of that nature. All right. Or just one of them days and someone tells you that they admire you for something you don't even think about that you even disclaim. Mm, right. Yes. That's a weird day. Yes. Or it's some special day you they, you receive an honor for whatever reason and they get up and tell some story about something you did that wasn't even a big deal to you. All right, right, all right. right. But to them, it was everything because it stayed stuck in their mind. Yes, yeah. yes. Well, how is that? I told you, you can't always say nope. what other people's perception of you is. Yeah. Right. So I say to you tonight, your insecurity is not a giant. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Holy Jesus. Again, Lord. your insecurity is not a giant. Say it again. Your insecurity is not a giant. It's not. No, it's not. God has not given you a spirit of fear. Amen. You all ready to pray? Yes, Amen. What I'm going to ask you to do if you're watching the video on social media, you don't have these prayers. We will ask you to repeat after me. So that way you can participate. And I want to encourage you to come back again tomorrow and pray these again. Yeah. You come back the next day and pray them again. Amen. And then come back the next day and pray them again. And if you're really feeling good, I encourage you to pray them for 21 days. Amen. All right. Amen. And watch how things change about how you view yourself. And how others view yourself. Amen. Tell children when I see them, don't walk with your head hanging down. While your head down, lift your head up. Amen. You got nothing to be ashamed of. Don't care what you look like or you don't look like. What you have or you don't have. What you have on, they ain't got nothing to do with it. Pick your head up. Amen. Right. You somebody. Why? Because God makes us somebody. If we're yes. made in the image and the yes. likeness yes. of the Holy One yes. of Israel. They made all things and he does all things well. I don't think he made a mistake. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. And that's you have to view yourself. Every power. Every power. A sign. A sign. To prolong my journey. Prayer point five. Prayer point five. Prayer point five. Every power. Every power. A sign. A sign. To prolong my journey. Prolong my journey. To breakthroughs. To breakthroughs. Fall, down and Fall down and die. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I break the covenants. And curses of the anti-progress forces over my life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every effect of anti-progress forces over my life be nullified 
by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every spirit of sluggishness and backwardness in my life. Receive the fire of God now. And be destroyed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every spirit avoiding good things in my life. Be destroyed now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we reject crumb blessings. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we reject leftover crumb blessings. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Throughout the days of our lives, we will not feed from waste bins. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We shall not have empty blessings. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We receive angelic transportation. To go where God wants us to be. This year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This year. By the power. In the blood of Jesus Christ. We reject. Slippery blessings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, this year bring us into favor with all of those that will decide on our advancement in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, in this year, let there be a divine intervention that will move me ahead. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We reject the spirit of the tail. And we claim the spirit of the head. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, transfer, remove, or change any power that has been on stopping our advancement this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, this year, smooth our way to the top by your hand of fire in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We receive the anointing to excel above our peers in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, catapult us into greatness as you did for Daniel in the land of Babylon. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we bind every strong man assigned to hinder our progress this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, oh Lord, dispatch your angels to roll away every stumbling block to our promotion, advancement, and elevations this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we receive the mandate to put every enemy of our breakthroughs to flight. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we reject every spirit of doubt, fear, and discouragement. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we cancel all ungodly delays. To the manifestations of our miracles in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, hasten to your word to perform it in every department of our lives in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We refuse to agree with the enemies of our progress in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Father, in this year, let there be turbulence, rearrangement, revision, reorganization, and rerouting of situations and circumstances in order to give path to our desired miracle. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we bind, overcome, and render to nothing 
Every anti-testimony. Anti-miracle. And anti-prosperity. Forces. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The God who answers by fire. And the God of Elijah. Answer us by fire. This year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And answer by fire. That means that's an unstoppable fire from God's hand all the way into the earth realm. The God who answers Moses speedily at the Red Sea, answer us by fire this year in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The God who changed the circumstances of Jabez, answer us by fire this year in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The God which quickens and calls those things that be not as though they were. Ask us by fire this year in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The God of all comfort and joy. Ask us by fire this year in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every foreign need assigned to prevent the manifestation of our miracles, of our miracles this year, this year. Bow, bow at the name of Jesus Christ at the name of Jesus Christ. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Father, Holy Father, let every evil force, let every evil force gathered, against gathered against our breakthroughs this year be scattered, this year be scattered. In, the in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We reject every journey, reject every journey to backwardness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Father, make every agent of shame working against us to be paralyzed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We paralyze the activities of household wickedness over our lives in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, give us power for maximum achievement this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, give us confronting authority to achieve effortless results in all our endeavors this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We break every curse of untimely death in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Father, fortify us with your power to excel this year in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, let the counter movement of the Holy Spirit frustrate every evil device assigned against our breakthroughs in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, make our voices the voices of peace, voices of deliverance, the voices of power the voices of and the voices of solution in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, give us divine direction that will propel us to greatness this year in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every power assigned to use our families to torment us, be paralyzed now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ooh, Holy, Father, Holy Father, give us an excellent spirit. Us an spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise. Arise. Judge every tongue. A sign to condemn us this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, thank you, Holy Spirit. Well, well, Reverend, what do these prayers have to do with fighting timidity? That's all you heard through here. Is that the Lord make you bold and victorious in spite of. And that things work out for your good. Amen. And that the Spirit of God propels you. Now, next we're going to pray the mind confessions and heart confessions. From dealing with the spirit of depression. All right. We fight the spirit of depression because this was the spirit of God impressed upon me. 
to do. So we do what the Spirit of God gives us and tells us to do. Amen. And believe that we will be blessed thereby. Amen. Exactly. Amen. You have Amen. to fight it. Amen. 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 Why, Pastor? Because there's a lot of things right now that's not lending to rejoicing of your heart. Yeah. On a natural basis, if I can say it like that. What you mean, Pastor? You don't see a lot of victory right now in a lot of places. Does not mean it is not going on. Mm -hmm. Amen. Your body is fighting, your spirit is fighting, your, your mental, your mind, your, your soulless man is fighting, which is your mind, your emotions, your imagination, and your intellect. All that stuff is fighting constantly yes, through these days. Yes. Yeah. But God is able. Yes, he Why? Because He has equipped us with a weapon to help us to fight. Yes, and that's the good news. So repeat after me, please. Our mental strength, Our mental strength is, renewed is renewed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ. By, the of Jesus Christ. By the stripes of Jesus Christ, our minds, our minds and, our and our emotions are healed, are healed. In, Jesus Christ's name. in Jesus Christ's name. Oh God, oh God. bring our minds, bring our minds out, of out of darkness and out of pits, out of pits into the marvelous light. The marvelous in Jesus Christ's name. Oh great, oh, great light of God, arise in the darkness of our minds. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, oh, God. lift up, lift up. I will bow down heads. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord God, our Father, Lord God, our Father. Fill, us fill us with joy and peace, and peace. where we have depression, where we have depression. and anxiety. And Oh God, oh God, send soldiers, send soldiers to, fight for our minds. to fight for our minds. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus. we will live. We will Come live. on, say it. We will live, we will and, live. Not and not die and publish the gospel in Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus, Christ's name. Jesus, Christ's Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, the great physician, the great physician. men are broken hearts. Men oh God, oh God. God. if our hearts are stony, replace it. With flesh ones in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our heart trusts you, God. Our heart trusts you, God. Our heart trusts you, God. And we are not afraid. Lord Jesus Christ, remove heaviness from our hearts in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Victory over depression is ours. Oh, in Jesus Christ's name. Jesus Christ's oh, God, name. oh God, arise and uproot anything. Arise you did not plan. Inside Golden Triangle Christian Fellowship Church. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, oh God. let the fire revival, let the fire revival. Fall, upon fall upon Golden Triangle Christian Fellowship Church. Beaumont, Texas. Beaumont, Texas. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord God. The present power of God is present to heal you right where you are. The Spirit made me to know that someone is dealing with an ailment in their knees on tonight. Spoke to me as we were praying the first set of confessions. To deal with depression. Yes. Yeah. And he just said, just lay your put your hand on that needed hurt right now. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, sir. Right there where you yes, are. Sir. Thank you, Lord. And you're gonna see tonight what we call a demonstration of the power of God, a demonstration of his spirit, and that there is no distance in the spirit. Oh my Thank God. You, Lord. Which means physically we may be miles, many miles apart. But God knows where you are. Yes. And he can touch you right where you are too. Lay that hand on that knee. And I want you to hold that knee and say, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And with his stripes, heal my knee. I speak healing, wholeness, completion, growth, sterilization, health, wholeness, completion, purpose to this knee. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I curse pain at his root. I curse anxiety in his knee and his root. I command my blood vessels to be open 
and blood flow freely in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I speak to my cartilage right now. Be repaired in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I speak to my bones. Minerals, return to your correct levels in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I speak to my muscles, grabbing my knee to be whole in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Elasticity, return in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Electrical system in my knee, fire correctly. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Water in my muscles, in my joints. Return to your proper levels now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Tell God, thank you right there where you are. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. You. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The power of God is real. Ooh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Thank it you. can be felt, but it doesn't have to be felt for God to do what he does. Thank you, Lord. Thank him right now for healing your knee. If you couldn't stand, you need to stand before right now and tell him thank you. You need to give him a praise right there where you are. Because he just did something just for you. You want to know if it was real. And you see it for yourself. Real life, real time in living color. Right there where you are. Social media ain't stopped God from moving. COVID ain't stopped God from healing. It has not. He still is a healer right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And see, what you don't realize is that your giving God an opportunity to heal you who got somebody else blessed. What does that mean? You don't want God to heal you. Enable God to hook up some other people where their bodies and their needs could be healed as well. Why? Because you weren't selfish and you were not afraid. So we say to you tonight, be bold. Go forth and receive what God has for you to receive. I hear y'all tonight. That's how you do. Don't you say you're not worthy another day. <laughs> Somebody out there wrestling with getting a new house. Because you don't want to leave the neighborhood. I see you in the spirit. You call them people and talk to them like God told you to talk to them. And receive your blessing. If God has better for you, receive it. God will bless you wherever you are. It's true. But a God, what I know by experience is that if God got another place for you, trust you. It's for your own good. It's for your own health. It's for your own money. And it's definitely for your own peace of mind. And God said, I ain't changed my mind. I hear you. I have, I have not changed my mind. Yeah, you acting crazy with them people. Yeah, you did say some things you should have said, but God has not changed his mind. He said, go to them same folk. Yes, sir. My God. Right. Yes, sir. Go back tonight. Yes, sir. He has given you the message. He has given yes, you the prayer. Yes, sir. All you got to do now is walk to it. Yes, sir. Say it again. All you have to do, what does that mean, walk to it? Make the call. Talk to the people. Yeah. Don't be afraid. And just receive your blessing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Yes. I really am. Yes. Labor, labor. God wants you to have it. He said he says it's about your health. Yes, sir. Thank you. He said, because the medicine is not doing it, because it's not addressing what needs to happen. I'm telling you as a witness, I moved coming on two years ago now. Lord Jesus. Oh God. And I feel better every day. Yeah. What I said. Sometimes what I said. I say every day what I said. Yes. Rev, you said every day, that's what I said. I say every day. Yes. 
than I did. And it was not to, it's not to take away to say that God wasn't blessing me where I was. But God had somewhere else that was better for me. I give you the testimony. Dad was working on the brother. I'm gonna go and talk about the way we talk about it. He like, Sam, man, you need to you know, find you a place, man. They go ahead and help you. And help your mind. Yes, sir. And looked and looked and looked. Couldn't find it. Mm. And just kind of accidentally, if you let me say it like that, on the night, and paint the picture for you. Found his place, went and looked at it. Me and Daddy went to my cousin's anniversary service, and we just talked fellowship like we did on the way down. I'm on the way down on the way back. And all we kind of talked about like how I could get it done and you know some things I need to do, moves need to make and whatever. And I went to go eat the next day. And I was like, man, you know, I don't, I don't know. Like this, ooh, this might be a little bit more than I'm able to do. I'm not really so how this finna go. Oh no. Or how this gonna happen. We go ahead and told Pastor tell us, work on your credit. Save your money. So I had done some of that. And I was going to a restaurant called Tony's. Give me something to eat out of before a basketball game or something. I reached for the door. Open the door. Spirit of God say, let me do this <laughs> for you. your mind like you do do wrestling with it yeah. how can these things be how can this happen how can this come to pass you see i bought a house before when i was married yeah yeah had some help yeah never yeah. did it by myself as a single man see yeah. and it went right by me yeah. Yeah. it ain't that i believed i couldn't do it but i thought i needed to have somebody like that all right all right for that to happen yeah. But the Lord showed me. Yeah. And he loved me real good. Real good. Yes, sir. He blessed me. Increased me. Glory they had the clothes. They had to use all the money to clothes. <laughs> had to borrow some money. They had to borrow the money and pay it back. Right back. Yeah. And still wasn't broke. God is good. Yes, yes, Why? Because he said, let me do this yes, for you. Yes, they asked me. I just not thought about that, Pastor. That was God. Yeah. When do you want to close, Mr. Sampson? <laughs> oh, my yes. God. Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay, man. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I just thought about that right now. When do you want to close? I don't know where you that. No, I, I didn't know such a thing was possible. Yeah. We, uh, what day would you like, Mr. Sampson? Uh, uh, well, it's, 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 a month or not from now, we're good. Oh, does March 20th sound good? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's great right, right there. That's going to hit real nice there. That's going to hit real nice. And lo and behold, Get the clothes and ain't nobody in there but me and Jesus. All right. Because the All pandemic right. just hit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Just here are your papers. Give us a copy. You know, just take a picture of your license and, and, and text it to us. If you have any questions, just call us on the phone. We'll be over in the next room if you need any help. Hello. <laughs> huh? Yeah. And y'all know them clothing papers. That's a book you signed. Yeah. And then by myself, just me and God in the yeah. face of a pandemic. Yeah. And why I tell you, the Lord can bless you. It, it don't matter not to Him. No. When? Oh, God. And so I tell you in God's place on tonight. Let the Lord do it for you. Yes, sir. Let him. Yes, sir. Can't make it no play for it, no plan for it. That's a true story. That ain't something I read. Something about something I live. Yes. Yeah. And Pastor was there walking with me. He he can verify. He he know I ain't lying. Yeah. God did it. Yes, sir. For His name's sake. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you understand that? For His. Yes, sir. Name's sake. And God want to do the same for you on tonight. Yes, sir. Maybe you don't know God. This is a good time for you to get saved. Yes, sir. Good time. Because tomorrow is promised to none of us. The next moment is not even truthfully promised to us. The Bible says, 
man's life is but a vapor. I mean, it's like a smoke or it's like a fog. Here today, gone tomorrow. Here one minute, gone the next. You will spend eternity somewhere. But I want to encourage you tonight to receive Jesus Christ in your heart as your Lord and Savior. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you can spend eternity with Him. Yes. Not in torment. God has blessings for you. Yes, He does. But for you to have access and right to those, yes, you have to right. confess and claim Him as your Lord and Savior. Something's not going to line up for you until you get saved and accept Jesus in your heart. Stop waiting to try to get it together. You're not going to get it together on your own. Come to him while you have time. Come to him make up your mind right now. And yes, I want to be saved. Why do I need to save? You need to be a, a savior because there's a lot of crazy things going on in the world. And our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is soon to return. Just look at the signs of the time. It's the beginning of the end right now. Yes, You're living in it in real time. Yes, so you need to get your business straight with God and accept Him. Maybe you already saved, but you have gone in a crazy place and you can't figure out how to get back. Just tell God you're sorry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So y'all can move on and be back talking to one another yeah. and spending time with one another. God is not holding the grudges against you like people does. He said, come, let us reason together. Let's work it out. And he'll be there for you and with you like he always yes, has been. Sir. Yes, sir. So the way that we get saved and receive Jesus Christ in our heart is by confessing with our mouth, which means by saying with our mouth. Yes, sir. And yes, Jesus sir. Christ, our Lord and Savior, that he got up again for us and he died for us and died for our sins. And you believe with your heart, which is your eternal part of your being, the part of you that nobody sees. Yes, Lord. That's how you get saved. And the prayer that we pray to be saved, the prayer that we pray to get back in right standing with God is the same prayer. So I ask you to pray that prayer with me tonight. The prayer says, Dear God, Dear God I know without Jesus, know without Jesus that, I that I am lost. I thank you, God, thank you, God. For, saving for saving me from myself. I thank you, God, for forgiving me of my sins and cleansing me and cleaning me up from all unrighteousness. Jesus Christ, I believe that you died on Calvary for me and that you got up again, that I may have the right to the tree of life. Jesus Christ, thank you for saving me. Come in my heart. Sit on the throne. And I want to serve you the balance of my days. Fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ, your Lord, Savior, and King of my life. Thank you again for saving me in Jesus Christ's name. And just like that, you're saved on tonight. We thank God for you being here on tonight. If you got saved, welcome to the family of God. We encourage you to read the Bible from Genesis all the way through Revelation. So you know what God's word says for you. Some people say start with this book. No, no, no. Just read the whole Bible. We encourage you to get water baptized. Water baptism does not save you. It's simply a show, an outward show that you have accepted Jesus Christ in your heart. And then we encourage you to become a part of a church that's going to teach you the word of God and how to live the word of God and help you to fulfill purpose that God has for you. If you got saved on tonight, type that in the comments. I got saved. If you'd like to see the scriptures about getting reassured of your salvation, you can inbox us there and we'll send that information to you as well. If you want to see the scriptures that lay out the plan of salvation, we can get those to you as well. But we thank God for you. We thank God for you viewing on tonight. We thank God for you praying with us as we fight and fight the enemy together. That you were here. We fought him corporately. And we believe in God for your best. Let the Lord do it for you on tonight. Let the Lord do it for you on tomorrow. You don't have to live with insecurities. Arise up, you mighty people of God, and be blessed. So as you go, tell the word about Jesus. 
and tell them about his love. Let them know that Jesus saves, Jesus heals, and Jesus prospers. We see you on Sunday at 8.30. Amen.